Welcome back to my channel guys and in this video I'm gonna share some of my opinions on Disney dining specifically at Disney World in Florida. First thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Disney dining plan and unfortunately due to the, uh, the situation around the world Disney has been you know impacted like every other company and they have suspended the Disney dining plan temporarily until further notice but I want to just talk about the Disney dining plan first because I think it's an awesome feature and service that they offer the Disney dining plan is basically a way for Disney to offer the all-inclusive experience to its uh, customers by allowing customers to prepay for their food in advance that is I think a great idea because a lot of uh, all-inclusive packages vacation packages from other types of experiences like beach vacations a lot of times I'm actually disappointed because even though uh, I get the uh, all-inclusive experience it's not as good because I feel that the quality between the high-level restaurants are very different than the quality of the lower mid tier food offerings at those places and there's a big drop off in quality whereas in Disney World I feel that you don't have that I feel that because there's such diversity such variety and just such an abundance of restaurants and food offerings that it's probably a much better balance than most any other all-inclusive vacation that, that you're gonna find in fact I'm very biased because I actually am holding the Disney Resort uh, rapid fill mug that I that you get with the Disney dining plan so that you can just refill your mug at specific locations around Disney World and you know you can fill it with with, with uh, fountain drinks you can fill it with coffee and this is a uh, kind of a souvenir that I kept over the years and I have several of these because I always get the Disney dining plan when I go it's a, a big thing that I look forward to when I go to Disney World it's not just about you know the rides and the attractions it's also about the food and I definitely take advantage of as much as I can about the different options uh, food options at Disney World and one of the ways that I do that is by taking advantage of and paying for the Disney dining plan now the Disney dining plan is available uh, as a separate cost it's added to your your park reservations and there's different levels of it there's a level that's a lower level which is a, a more affordable level where you don't get the full service restaurant experience you just get like uh, the, I think they call it counter service where it's just the, the, the non restaurant places where you get like chicken fingers burgers uh, in the resorts uh, at the parks but you're not getting the full sit-down restaurant um, experience with that but if you want to pay extra there's a tier above that where you get you get they throw in one restaurant meal so you could do like uh, if you don't if you're not a heavy breakfast person or lunch person you could do uh, a burger for lunch uh, a light breakfast at a counter service place and then in for dinner you could take advantage of the uh, restaurant meal that you get with one of the mid-level tiers I usually get the one that doesn't include alcohol but it does include full service restaurants for all of my meals three times a day plus I get the mug and you could order basically whatever you want which is an awesome feature of the Disney dining plan at any level so regardless of the 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 level of Disney dining plan that you have the, the tier that you have you could order the most expensive thing on the menu you do not have to pay any extra you just basically are responsible for the gratuity uh, you know the tip for the meal it's a great feature to have once it returns and I'd be surprised if it didn't return I think Disney's gonna bring that back because it is a, a revenue generator for Disney because people don't always use the Disney dining plan to its fullest in fact a lot of people don't even use all of the credits believe it or not when people have all of this all of these options and they prepay it you know even myself sometimes I find that on certain days and I'm a big eater sometimes I find that on certain days I didn't use up all my credits and you have to utilize them before you leave you can't 
carry them over and save up uh, these credits for your next vacation. You, it's use it or lose it. If you feel that you are gonna stress out over something like that, don't get the Disney Dining Plan then because it's gonna, it's gonna be a headache. But if you're the kind of person like me that you can manage that kind of stress and you are gonna eat a lot of that food or all of it, then definitely it's worth looking into. It is a discount. So if you get the most expensive things or close to it, it I think it represents, I've done unscientific calculations and it's about a 20 to 30% savings over and above what you would have gotten if you um, were to have paid out of pocket without the Disney dining plan at all. I think it's awesome and you're gonna love it if you like food and you're a big eater. The other thing too is that the food offerings at Disney World, don't think that by staying on property that you have to then worry about going off property like you maybe do in some of the theme parks to eat because you don't have enough options or the quality's not there. Nothing could be further from the truth. Disney World has some of the best quality restaurants. Like uh, I'll mention one, I, you know, I'm not gonna be specific about you know, too many other options, but I'll mention one, California Grill. That's on the very high end, expensive, but a great signature restaurant that Disney World has. Uh, it sits at the top of the Contemporary Resort in Disney World next to Magic Kingdom. And it's a very good, luxurious, uh, nice ambiance. The food is amazing, but you can also have, you know, other very, very high level experiences at other Disney restaurants that maybe are not as expensive as that, which is totally fine if you don't, if you cannot afford it, or if you just don't want to allocate so much of your budget to a meal that's going to be hundreds of dollars, which you can easily spend at the uh, California Grill or any of the other signature dining restaurants at Disney World. But definitely take advantage of other places which are kind of like the mid-level mid tier restaurants like uh, San Angel Inn in the Mexico Pavilion. It gives you a nice ambiance where you're inside a pyramid and it's like a nighttime Mexican market ambiance. It's really very nice, very romantic, uh, very relaxing, very unique experience that Disney World offers. And you know what, the food, I'll be honest, it is not as good, obviously, as the, the higher level signature restaurants, but because you got that nice ambiance, and I'll, and, and I'll be honest, for me, this is personal preference, I thought the food was pretty good. I was okay with it. Nothing special, but it wasn't bad. And with the ambiance that it offers, I think it's a home run. You should at least do it once and see if you like it. And there are other experiences similar to that, if not better, where you get a very good, unique ambiance you know, just see, go online and you're gonna see different resorts, different places in World Showcase, different restaurants that kind of replicate the cultures of cuisine from different countries around the world and they do it in an amazing way. The people that work at these other restaurants, they actually are from, they're typically from the countries of origin from, you know, where those restaurants are, you know, are themed from. So if you have, um, a reservation at a Mexican restaurant, the people that work there are Mexican and they speak Spanish. And if you, you know, go to one of the French restaurants at the, at the French uh, section in World Showcase, then, then there you go, you're gonna have people that speak French and, and there are people there that come from France to work at those places. And it almost like makes you feel like you're actually in another country sampling all these different cuisines from around the world. You're not gonna be disappointed. You're not gonna be left short of any options at Disney World in Florida. Disney World in Florida is huge, it's massive. You have a lot of options. You have very good, high level, expensive options, but even the ones that are like mid-tier, uh, not so expensive, are still pretty good. And also combine that with the Disney theming and ambiance, you cannot go wrong with having uh, a fantastic culinary experience. It's a place where I go and I escape uh, into uh, another world where I sample all different kinds of foods, occasionally getting out of my comfort zone. And most times I come away very impressed and very satisfied. And my expectations are usually exceeded by these Disney World restaurants and the service that they provide. With that said, 
Hope you got something out of this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys.